Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Nissan GTR and its 11 speaker Bose sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at speaker settings, speaker locations, audio inputs, audio adjustments, Apple CarPlay, get out on the road, listen to some sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, hop out, take a look at this supercar. Old but gold, the 2021 Nissan GTR. Here in the premium spec, so it's rocking the 565 tune motor. Not the top dog Nismo, but still plenty fast and allowing for a lot of shenanigans. We had a lot of fun with this car in the snow, so check the link in the description for a review on that. You can see it's nice and winter dirty. And we always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. However, with this system being as dated as it is, it was unable to play my USB stick. So, because of that, I am using my phone through Bluetooth. It seems to be a pretty quality connection. It should sound identical to all of you watching, just so you know. We're not using the uncompressed lossless files through USB. They're the same files on my phone. For audio inputs here in the GTR, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. You also have a disc player, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, two USB-A ports, and Bluetooth with Apple CarPlay support. What are you missing? Well, you don't have Android Auto, and you also don't have any USB-C ports. Not too surprising considering this car came out originally in 2008 for the 2009 model year, but still would be nice to see a little bit of a retrofit. For audio controls, you've got a nice volume knob right here on the left side of the screen, good detents. You also have a nice volume rocker on the left side of the steering wheel. Track selection, you have buttons, you have a knob, you can use the touchscreen, and you can use the steering wheel adjuster knob right there. Speaker locations in the GTR. This is an 11 speaker system. Bose doesn't publish its maximum power output, but it is plenty loud, let me tell you. Starting down here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, big subwoofer, 10, 11 in the rear deck. For sound settings, let's go take a look at those now. Here, sound, the screen's actually quite responsive. Got your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, bass adjustment, and treble adjustment, as well as three stages of speed-sensitive volume control. So let's, do, let's demo bass and treble now. So, fairly small amount of adjustment there, but you can tweak things a little bit to your liking. Apple CarPlay demonstration. Now, because we have CarPlay connected, it did disconnect the Bluetooth that we were playing sound from, so you just have to see here. We've got the iPod plugged into USB port one. Right away, it comes on up. Looks nice, decently responsive, not the highest resolution screen on the market, but still works plenty well and very easy to pair up. All right, let's get on the road. Music does dip out there for a moment, but who really cares when you get to listen to that mechanical masterpiece come to life? Music actually dips out for a while. It has to totally reconnect the Bluetooth device. Come on, any minute. There we go.
crisp or super strong, but it's also not weak and muddy. It's just kind of there. It's competent. Now that we're up at highway speeds, turn the music down, let you hear what the GTR sounds like on winter tires, I should point out. So as you can hear, ton of road noise. A little bit of exhaust drone. It's not too bad as long as you're not too sensitive to that, but definitely noticeable. For this next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up and get an idea for that giant subwoofer back there. bass not exactly the most crisp or clean but in the right song it can certainly bump other than that everything sounds fine in here but there were no songs throughout my time with this car that i was ever like wow yeah that's really an outstanding system other than some of those really heavy bass hits i'd be given this sub objectively speaking about a six and a half it's not outstanding but competent Subjectively speaking, for a $120,000 car, but that being a sports car, again, about a six and a half. The Chevy C8 Corvette's sound system is much better, but the whole point of a sports car is not necessarily to have the crispest audio system, 
so I don't really heart this system too hard for not giving us something amazing. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you found this informative. If you want to see more on the GTR, check the links in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, 